breaking news tonight. President Trump addresses the nation for the first time in nearly two days and falsely suggests voter fraud. I've already decisively won many critical states. Joe Biden calls for every vote to be counted. I ask everyone to stay calm. The process is working. The presidency all comes down to five states in this nail-biter of a presidential election. Votes are still being counted as President Trump's path to a second term is getting slimmer. Joe Biden is at the doorstep of the White House. Checking in on the battlegrounds in Arizona, armed protesters demand to get inside to watch the vote count. In Pennsylvania, demonstrators making their voices heard. And can Georgia go blue for the first time in nearly three decades? Americans getting infected at record levels. 100,000 new coronavirus cases in just one day. As the head of an Iowa hospital system says, they're in danger of losing control of the pandemic. And democracy at work. We'll pay tribute tonight to those unsung heroes of this election, those hardworking Americans counting up your votes and serving our country. This is the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell. Reporting tonight from CBS News Election Headquarters in Times Square. Good evening and thank you for joining us. We are going to begin tonight with breaking news. President Trump spoke a short time ago from the White House and made some bold claims about the election without facts to back them up. He said. He